Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Uh, so, I have been working on the Chucky Guide for a little while. It's probably going to be in mid-February, but I did figure we are a Chucky-related channel, so I should probably make some videos about Chucky at some point, right? So, today I just want to go over a few counterplay options for Chucky, especially for Scamper, that uh, might help you guys out, because I know some people are... They struggle against playing against Chucky, uh, and I've noticed some big reasons as to why. Also, you might hear my cat in the recording because she is being annoying and will not go away um, as much as I love her. Uh, anyways, so first piece of advice, and this is the biggest thing, do not pre-drop pallets until Heidi Ho is over. If you don't hear a terror radius, if you don't see a red stain, wait before you drop the pallet. Which leads us into the second thing. Juggy is a 110 killer. He's a 110 M1 killer. Technically M2 because of the slice and dice. My point is at a basic loop where he can't easily slice and dice because of the 90 degree turn if you're playing it in the right spot, which is usually at the corner, just he can't really do anything. So the best play is once he goes into Heidi Ho mode is to wait at the end of the loop, not right on the pallet. Most Chucky players are waiting for you to drop the pallet so they can just scamper underneath of it. If you get him into high or take him out of Heidi Ho mode, he has to wait 18 seconds for the cooldown, one second for the activation, and one second to actually activate Scamper. That's 20 fucking seconds. You can waste a lot of time doing that. And if you do it properly and just leave the loop and go to another one, then he can't even play the pallet with Scamper, so it's 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 fine. Is it the most thrilling thing to do? No, but it's a way to counter him. Which, the 110 thing I'm going to get into here in a second, too. There are a lot of loops in this game, particularly main buildings, that Chucky just can't play. He, he can't. There is physically nothing he can do the uh gas station in an auto haven is a good example even once the pallets are down uh there's not too much he can do if you play it correctly um you could if you vault out the window and go left into the gas station he's not going to be able to catch up to you uh there's just there's just no way uh, if he times the slice and dice perfectly he can still get you but it will give you a much better opportunity the thing with this that I'm going to say is that there's a lot of connecting loops is where Chucky struggles the most. Because he physically cannot catch up to you unless he hits you with the slice and dice. And at that point, you took too long to get to the loop. And I know I sound condescending saying that, I'm just trying to make it very apparent. The last thing is, if you are at a loop and Heidi Ho hasn't been used yet, and you can't see Chucky, and you immediately hear the terror radius go away and don't see a red stain, don't move. <laughs> Stop moving. I'm going to tell you now, and I'm going to show a couple clips right here. <laughs> A few moments later. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. All the Chucky player is doing is waiting for you to panic. He is waiting for you to make a mistake. There are so many times I've gotten hit, hits at loops because I just activate Heidi Ho, stand still, I check the corner, and they're running right into me because they just they just panicked and moved towards me. Stop moving, okay? If you can't see him, 9 times out of 10, he can't see you 
unless you're around a corner. If the last place you saw him was the adjacent side of the loop, I can almost promise you he has no idea where you are, and he's waiting for you to move so he can find you. There's no aura reading that's going to work to help him there, and anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the three big things, in my opinion, to, to counter Shucky. Don't pre-drop pallets until Heidi is over. He's an M10, so leverage that. If you want to practice against playing against Chucky, um, get a friend or someone you know to play Huntress and just loop you without throwing hatchets. That's the equivalent to Chucky without slice and dice, right? And that that's all I would suggest. See, even my categories. Uh, and then, yeah, the Heidi Ho thing at loops. Just, just, just the moment he hits it, just stop moving if you can't see him. If you have no visual indication, oh, well, he might sneak up on me and hit me. Trust me, you'll see him before he does that. Unless you're, like, sticking at the direct edge of a loop, he can't even hidey ho you. And even if he does, you can hear it as he preps it. He does that ah, before he goes. And then you can just lean into it. Which leads me to the next thing with countering slice and dice. Someone did a great video on how to counter slice and dice. One thing they didn't mention, and this is something coming from a Chucky player that messes me up all the time. And it's similar to how you kind of can mess with a nurse. If you absolutely have to, a last resort you can do is run into him. Chucky has to manually release the slice and dice to get the hit. So a lot of times running into him can mess them up completely and make them basically dash past you. With just the basic attack, not even the dash itself. Um, especially if you do it when you're out of line of sight because they're not going to expect you to run in. Um, now he still does have collision so you have to, you know, just kind of skirt around him. But it is possible. Once again, just a last resort. Don't always do it. And, you know, they're going to expect it and start planning for it, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is just some basic counterplay tips. Uh, if you guys have any other ones, I would love to hear them down below. Um, this is just because I play a lot of him, so I've noticed some things that mess me up personally, and I know I'm not the greatest Chucky player in the world, but it's always nice to, to for the people who play a character to tell people the counters. Now, if your response is, well, these are, seem boring or aren't enough, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just how you counter the character. It's just, just what it is. At the end of the day, he's an M10 killer with undetectable and the ability to go under pallets. Uh, don't give him the pallets to go under, and leverage the fact that he is in 10. That's basically all I'm going to say. Any case, I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Tomorrow should be the uh, Wraith main interview. At least I hope it comes out. I think I'm done editing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love you guys. Have a good one, and uh, bye.